so this might be like my first official 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 <laughs> um not episode but like segment my little little intro my little part part mm -hmm. my little video of my human experience um um i hope everybody has been having an amazing morning evening or night all right um it is amazing that we have made it to this day and i hope that you feel like you are loved you are necessary and you are absolutely amazing all right i want everybody to feel like that reason is i know sometimes we don't feel that way hell before uh <laughs> before before i walked out this house i didn't really feel so amazing right i didn't feel so necessary i didn't feel so needed um uh oh gosh i went heavy i said let me warm y'all up and i just went deep mm, i'm sorry i'm gonna take my time <laughs> i'm gonna stop playing with y'all i'm gonna stop playing with y'all um i'm just trying to lighten the mood a little bit because you know sometimes it gets a little oh, it gets a little it's a little rough a little fast um i'm gonna chill i promise i'm gonna chill I don't know when, but it's going to happen one day. Just not today. <laughs> um, So I was saying that sometimes we really neglect the harmony that's supposed to be in, be in our body because we really aren't used to it. We haven't been used to harmony in our body since like the first trauma we had. You know, the first time you... um. You felt cast to the side, like maybe you came home with a new project um, that you were so excited about and, you know, maybe mom or dad or your aunt or your grandmama or your cousin that you real close to and y'all cool, y'all like sisters, was just too busy and didn't take the time to see you. Um, and sometimes we really just want to be seen. We want to be seen and we want to be heard. We want to know that we exist in your world also. We don't just want to feel like we're in our world. Because sometimes being in our world, our personal world, our mind, being stuck in our own thoughts is not necessarily the most calm place the most the most comforting place sometimes being left alone with our thoughts and our feelings and our anxiety our trauma our depression is one of the lowest places that we can be um and as human beings we really neglect our trauma we really push it deep deep down and just really try to pretend like it doesn't exist sometimes and that takes a toll um sometimes you don't realize why you don't share like the things that matter to you you don't share them anymore or something that you used to love a lot you don't do it anymore um it just doesn't feel like it holds any importance in anybody else's life or space but yours like you feel like what you do doesn't matter to anyone else so you don't necessarily see the point in sharing it now the reason why I want to call this my human experience is because what I'm talking about is things that I know from my personal human experience and I had a lot of days where I felt like I was going through all of this stuff by myself. Um, I felt very alone and I felt like I didn't matter. I felt very um, unseen. I don't, I, I don't know any other way to say it. Um, I felt unseen and I felt 
like I didn't have a safe space. Uh, I think we learn about safe spaces from a young age. And we learn healthy, safe spaces um, from just healthy reinforcements of these things. Uh, you know, people in our lives that we care about taking an interest in things that we're interested in, or even if they don't necessarily take an interest, they just, my brain is going blank. <laughs> even if they don't take an interest, they do take stock in seeing how important it is to you and being supportive. Sometimes it's not necessarily having somebody join into something with you. It's just knowing that you have that support and that love and that acknowledgement for doing something that might not be what somebody else wants you to do, but it makes you happy. Um, I think somewhere along the line of life, we forgot that being happy is just as important as being rich or being successful because there's a lot of successful people out here that are very unhappy um earlier i was talking to my sister and i was saying i'd be damned if i'll be unhappy and broke <laughs> and i know it seems absolutely like yeah, girl, I get you. Can't be unhappy and broke. You got to pick one struggle. That is absolutely true. That is absolutely true. But if I'm being honest with myself, I'm not broke. I might be emotionally broke right now. I might be somewhat spiritually broke. But I realize that when I've stopped to take care of my internal like last year uh maybe around june july when i stopped to take inventory of all the things that were going wrong in my life that were affecting me drastically at that moment once i started taking care of those many traumas those many issues those many um, things that, th those minor things that were so huge in my mind because it, it just made me feel like I was so small. <laughs> like those things were so insignificant, but they were so large in my mind. Like being, being laid off made me feel very small not because i was laid off but because of everything that happened that preceded me being laid off like i was being treated unfairly i was um i felt like i was just in a hostile situation and in a way, being laid off was a blessing because it was it was taking a toll on me mentally and I wasn't able to speak up for myself. And I was just pushing it down and I was pushing it down and I was pushing it down and it broke me. Like, it really broke me. There were days... I really sat in my room and I just couldn't move. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything because it just felt like it was strangling me. But it wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't the end of my world. It was the beginning of my freedom from a job that took more than it gave a job that had me sacrifice relationships sacrifice my well-being sacrifice my mental health to be there 
I was giving up part of myself, parts of myself, to be in a job that when I needed support from these people, what they told me was, if you don't come back to your job, we're not holding your position. So instead of being off of work to recover from an accident which caused me to have a knee surgery and, you know, caused me to have other injuries that plague me to this day that caused me to wake up out my sleep because I'm in pain. Like, I gave up pieces of myself so sometimes we are holding on to these small insignificant things because of reasons that don't make any sense because I could have got another job but I was comfortable in my discomfort and that level of discomfort wasn't bringing me any growth. It was bringing me pain. It was bringing me self-destruction. It was bringing me hurt. It was bringing me a sense of unworthiness of being happy, of being seen. I was holding on to a job to people that did not care about me because I have unhealed traumas. Our unhealed traumas dictate the way we react. It dictates how we hold on to unhealthy situations. It dictates how we do everything. Subconsciously, these things kind of map out who you are in that moment. So someone who feels unseen will either hide and make themselves small and put themselves in the background, which is what I did, or they will act out and rebel and make sure you see them. They'll make sure that they are the brightest, that hurts, the brightest star in the room. Even if that means they're holding up a bulb over their head. So I'm really taking this time to heal my traumas because I don't want to pass my traumas onto my children. I don't even want to pass my traumas onto the people that are in my life now. Because unhealed traumas really do affect your relationships. They affect the way you interact with the people you love. It affects the way you are able to love if you are even able to love openly i want everything good in my life because i deserve it i've given up enough i've lost enough i've overlooked myself enough it is my time to choose my happiness my freedom my joy my peace and that is what I want everyone to do. I want us to all be introspective and take stock of all the things that we see that we ignore. <laughs> okay, so I love y'all. Bye. So what I was saying on my story is sometimes as human beings, let me not just dive in like that. Let me, let me warm y'all up first. <laughs> Can't just dive in. Gotta get the floor play. You better get it. Okay, so... Um...